This is why narcissists are so obsessed after you leave. It can even make them frustrated greetings and welcome to our platform. For those ensnared in the turbulent bonds of relationships with narcissistic individuals, the aftermath often leaves lasting scars. Amidst the wreckage, a haunting question lingers. Does the narcissist harbour any semblance of remorse? This query reverberates across social channels and resonates within the hearts of countless individuals who have weathered the trials of loving a narcissist. In the debris of shattered emotions, one cannot help but wonder, do they experience any emotional response? In today's dialogue, we embark on a journey into the enigmatic psyche of the narcissist, seeking to uncover the truth. Do they wrestle with emotional upheaval following relationship dissolution, or do they remain immune to the pain they may have inflicted? Join us as we navigate the intricate labyrinth of narcissistic behavior, aiming to illuminate this mystery. While empathy may thrive within you, delving into the inner workings of the narcissistic mind may yield invaluable insights into their seemingly detached demeanor. Let us plunge into the depths of the narcissistic psyche. Let us embark on this expedition together. Let's confront your emotions head on. You genuinely care for them, love them deeply. Some may attempt to diminish this, branding it as mere deceit or manipulation. While there might be a grain of truth in that, it's essential to honor the authenticity of your feelings. It stings because their absence is palpable their return yearned for, and their constant presence dearly missed. It's jarring when someone you held in profound affection suddenly vanishes from your life without a backward glance. Why the apathy? They professed love, swore never to forsake you, yet here you stand, abandoned. Their words and deeds engage in an endless tug of war, leaving you bewildered and wounded. Our minds instinctively seek the path of least resistance, finding solace in those three simple words, I love you, rather than confronting the harsh reality that their actions betray. This dissonance breeds confusion and nurtures a potent emotional connection akin to addiction. The whirlwind of emotions, the conflicting signals, the tender moments juxtapose with indifference. Each element contributes to a bond that proves stubbornly resistant to severance. Questions inevitably arise. Do they genuinely feel the void left by my absence? Given the depth of your affection for them, it's natural to anticipate reciprocity. However, narcissists harbor a peculiar form of concern, albeit not in the manner one expects. When you choose to depart, their thoughts revolve around three primary anxieties. Foremost among them is preserving their facade. Their preoccupation centers on the potential repercussions of your departure on their public image. When my spurs briefly left, my immediate concern was, how will this reflect on me? I frantically scrambled to construct a narrative that cast me in a favorable light desperate to uphold the illusion of being a devoted partner. My identity hung in the balance, clinging to threads of self-preservation. Dark, unsettling questions reverberated in my mind. What will others think? How will this affect me? In anticipation of your departure, they may resort to tactics designed to make your existence unbearable, nudging you towards the exit door to preserve their image and absolve themselves of blame. It's a calculated evasion of responsibility, a declaration of innocence. I bear no fault in this. This maneuver is a trademark of narcissists adept at maintaining their saintly facade despite evidence suggesting otherwise. Upon your departure, their primary concern is self-preservation, not your emotional well-being. Hence, they may engage in hoovering attempting to draw you back in, prioritizing the preservation of their image over acknowledging the harm they caused. The hoovering tactic, frequently employed by narcissists, serves a dual purpose. Firstly, by seeking to reconcile, 
They aim to portray themselves as benevolent individuals. They'll proclaim, see, I tried. We patch things up. Doesn't that reflect well on me? This enables them to perpetuate the illusion of virtue and commitment, reinforcing their distorted narrative. Another tactic used to uphold this facade is character assassination, a classic smear campaign. Their obsession with superiority drives them to weave elaborate fabrications that elevate their status above yours. They deftly shift blame onto you, painting you as the villain, all in the pursuit of bolstering their own image. In drastic scenarios, they may discard others entirely to salvage their reputation, hurtling accusations of infidelity or abuse to tarnish your character and exalt themselves. Ultimately, when a relationship ends, a narcissist's primary concern centers on their public perception. They fixate on how they'll be viewed and manipulate circumstances to present themselves as superior. Their singular focus is on emerging triumphant, heedless of the collateral damage. This self-centered mentality typifies narcissism, and deciphering it sheds light on their behavior post-separation. As previously noted, a narcissist's primary concern upon your departure is their public image. But what occupies the second slot in their thoughts? Money. And the third? That's control. Control is akin to treasure for a narcissist. The mere idea of losing it strikes fear into their hearts. When you decide to leave, it hits them like a sucker punch because they're accustomed to being the one in charge. Losing control over you is their worst nightmare as their entire sense of self is built upon maintaining dominance. They're constantly grappling with questions like, how can I regain control? How do I assert my authority? It's an incessant loop in their mind because the notion of relinquishing control is utterly intolerable to them. This fear drives them to resort to hoovering after you've left, a desperate attempt to reclaim the control they'd lost. Hoovering involves their relentless efforts to draw you back in post-breakup to maintain their grip on you. They'll employ any means necessary to retain that control, even if it means portraying you as the one who initiated the breakup, not them. It's all part of their strategy to preserve control, even after the romantic ties have been severed. Let's delve deeper into the core essence of dealing with narcissists. Three fundamental pillars reign supreme in their world, image, money and control. These pillars serve as the foundation of their existence, and they'll spare no effort to safeguard them. When disentangling yourself from a narcissist, understanding these fundamental aspects becomes crucial. Grasping their fear of losing control, their fixation on appearances, and their anxieties surrounding finances can greatly assist you in navigating the intricate process of breaking free from their clutches. Furthermore, these elements, image, money and control, hold considerable sway in legal matters such as divorces or custody battles, shedding light on their post-separation conduct. One glaring truth about narcissists, especially as relationships teeter on the edge of collapse, is their outright disregard for anything beyond themselves. Genuine concern for your well-being or that of others rarely registers on their radar as evidenced by their actions, or rather, their absence thereof. They scarcely qualify as exemplary parents, often evading their responsibilities or delegating them to others. Even the care and attention owed to pets might be neglected. Their apathy towards your pain or the turmoil in the relationship speaks volumes about their true priorities. Reminding yourself of this harsh reality can be a lifeline when doubts seep in or when you question your own sanity. You might find yourself wondering, didn't they profess to care? Didn't they make promises? Yet these are merely illusions conjured by your mind. The essence lies in their deeds. How consistently do they display love, respect and consideration? How do they behave towards you and those relying on them? 
Ultimately, their genuine concerns revolve around preserving their image, safeguarding their finances, and asserting control, particularly once you've departed from their sphere of influence. And lastly, here's the most vital reassurance. You're not losing your grip on reality. The whirlwind of emotions swirling within you, the uncertainty and turmoil, it's all part of the journey and entirely normal. Many have traversed similar challenges and emerged stronger on the other side. Don't hesitate to reach out for help or connect with others who've trodden this path before. Though navigating a breakup with a narcissist can feel like an uphill battle, comprehending their primary concerns, image, money and control can illuminate their motives and guide your way forward. Take solace in knowing you're not alone and with time and support, you'll emerge victorious from this trial. In conclusion, delving into the post-relationship psyche of a narcissist can prove both intricate and daunting. However, armed with the right knowledge and support, you can navigate this journey with assurance. Thank you for being an indispensable part of our community and for your unwavering support. Remember,